PG-13. Paul George is averaging a career season of 27, 8, and 4, while leading his team to a surprising third seed in the West. Yet, nobody takes him seriously as an MVP candidate. Paul George will never win the MVP in his life. Firstly, Oklahoma City's market is not that big. This plays a factor in the amount of recognition and media coverage players receive. How many videos are there of sports analysis arguing over the problems that face the New York Knicks? They've been a poorly run franchise for what seems to have been forever, and in terms of historical significance, they've only won two championships in the early 70s, despite being one of the first 11 teams ever created in, in the NBA in 1946. Whereas a team like the Denver Nuggets are at this point the number one seed in the West, yet no one takes them seriously as, final, as championship contenders. Yet while Russell Westbrook did win the MVP just two years ago in that same uniform, he had to produce a historical triple-double season, something he emulated the very next year, and it's averaging once again. Yet no one really cares. It can't help Paul George either that his best teammate is arguably a top 10 player in the NBA, even though he's averaging 21 points this season. As well, Paul has led his team to the third seed in the West, just one win under Golden State. The media and fans will always wonder if he could do this without that elite four-star player in Russell Westbrook. People still remember the battles Paul took as a young and up-and-coming player against the Bronx Miami Heat, losing to the Dynasty three consecutive times, and then getting swept by the Bronx Cavs only two years later. Whilst it is unfair to expect Paul George's paces to overthrow LeBron, it allows fans to speculate if he could be this dominant without that MVP teammate. The MVP can only go towards a handful of guys anyway that have proven themselves to be capable of leading the team deeper in the playoffs and have been in, and have been in contention for the award at least the last two or three years. Help James Harden was in the top five MVP voting four times in the last five years. Paul George isn't just Paul George just isn't in that company, and that's okay because he's a great player, and for him to come back from that gruesome leg injury is inspirational. Now, OKC are not winning a championship this year, or any year close to come. But if OKC can finish in this season with the best record in the West, and Paul's undeniably the number one guy throughout the entire season, I think that he still won't win the MVP. Thanks for watching.